I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting test question on vectors, forces and equilibrium. The question here is, a large boulder is at rest and Ben puts a stick of dynamite in the middle of it. The explosion fires three chunks of rocks along the ground at different angles. One piece receives a force of 500 newtons north, another receives a force of Q newtons 45 degrees east of south and the last one receives a force of 850 newtons r degrees west of north. Solve for Q and R. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let us sketch the scenario first. So we'll represent north along the y-axis positive. Let this be the north for us. Then the explosion, one piece receives a force of 500 newtons north. So let this be, let this be 500 newtons north, okay? So we'll call this 500 newtons north. Another receives a force of Q newtons, 45 degrees east of south. So 45 degrees right in the middle, east of south. Okay. Which is Q newton. So we don't know how much, but it is Q newtons. And this angle is 45 degrees. The third one here is, we don't know the angle, 850 newtons towards west from north. So let's keep it kind of like this. So, and this force is 850 newtons and it is R degrees. Now since the body was at equilibrium, what we will see is that all these forces combined should result zero. So what we will do here is that we'll resolve them into their components and the components should match. That is along the x direction, we have these two components, correct? So let's say that is the component along the x direction for 850 newtons. For Q, the components could be mentioned as this, okay? And that is only in the upward direction. So we get two equations by comparing their components along x and y directions. So let's look into the components of forces along y direction. So we have an upward force which is 500 newtons. That should be equal to the only downward force is because of this. Well, there's another upward force, 850 newtons at an angle of R. So we'll add that, okay. 850 newtons. And uh, the upward force component, if that is the angle R, so along R is cosine R. Now that should be equal to the downward Q of cos 45, Q of cos 45 degrees, correct? So I hope that is clear. So these two forces are acting upwards. This is the only force acting downwards, right? Now, as far as the X components are concerned, we have one X component, which is 850 newtons. All these are in newtons. Now, this component here, let me draw it like this. Since that is opposite to R degrees, will be sine theta, correct? Sine R. Should be equal to Q sine 45. This angle is also 45. Or you can say Q cos 45. Either way. Both are same, right? So, since we are taking this as 45, let me write Q 
opposite to 45 as sine 45. We know cos 45 and sine 45 is a 1 over square root 2. So we could always replace them and rewrite our equations. Let's call them equation 1 and 2. So let me solve this equation for Q. So we can write from here that Q is equal to, this is sine 45, we can say Q over square root 2, correct? Sine 45 is 1 over square root 2. So Q is equals to 850 times square root 2 times sine of R degrees. Is it okay? So we get Q in terms of R. So we made our equation where Q is in terms of R. We can substitute 3 in 1 and then solve for R, correct? So let's substitute Q as 850 square root 2 sine R. So we already have 500. Let's forget about Newtons. We know all the units are in Newtons plus 850 cos of R equals to, instead of Q, I'm writing 850 times square root 2 sine of R and cos of 45 is 1 over square root 2, right? Perfect. Since we know that cos 45, let me write in different ink here. equals to 1 over square root 2. Okay. So square root 2, square root 2 cancel. Bringing sine and cosine terms together, we get and bringing, okay, so what we have here is 500 equals to 850 sine r minus 850 cosine r. And we can divide by 850. So we get 500 over 850. Taking 850 common, right? So we get sine r minus cosine r, right? So we divided everything by 850. Now we have to solve for r from this particular equation. How can we do it? We can square both sides, correct? So what we will do at this stage is we'll scale square both sides. So when you square both sides, you also incorporate errors. Remember that. Now what is the uh, square of this? So what we get here is, let us use calculator, right? So we'll do 500 divided by 850 equals 2 and then we'll square this number and we get 100 over 289. So we get here 100 over 289. This is after squaring, right? On the right side, if I square, I get sine square r plus 2, uh, let me write cos square r first, minus 2 times sine r cos r, right? Now sine square r plus cos square r is 1, so I can write this as 1, minus 2 sine r cos r is sine 2r. That's a trigonometric identity. Is that okay? We have very limited space. So what I will do, I'll just squeeze in my solution here. So I can take sine 2r on this side and write this as equal to 1 minus 100 over 289. Okay. Which is equal to, let's do that. So we already have 100 over 289. Do 1 minus the answer equals to uh, 189 over 289. That's okay. So we'll keep it in fractions. Now this is a critical part of the whole thing and that is one need to understand that it is 2r which is equal to that number and sine is positive. So positive really means what? Sine is positive means we are looking for two solutions, one in quadrant 1, the other one in quadrant 2. Correct? So, so let's find what 2r is equal to. So 2r is equal to sine inverse of this number, which is 189 over 289, 
that will give us one solution right one acute angle let's find this first shift sine inverse 189 divided by 289 equals to we get an angle of 40.84 now remember sine is positive in this current also so 40.84 is a solution which is acute angle here so we also have acute angle 40.84 here the solution is 180 minus 40.84 so i could also write 2r as equals to 180 minus 40.84 right so that is let's figure it out 180 minus 40.84 that gives you in decimals 139.16 now here is the trick part if you look at the situation as given here now if i take r to be a smaller angle then 850 component will be kind of like this right kind of like this now here we have 45 degrees so whatever force you have here horizontal and vertical components are same since it is 45 degrees right 1 over square root 2 times they are equally distributed so you can see since we already have a component of 500 facing north this force should be more than 45 do you get my point and therefore we will take this as our solution so i hope the reasoning is clear right so i'm taking the second quadrant angle as my real answer since in the given situation we have to also take care of 500 newtons acting north so this will help us to compensate a bit by not contributing that much towards north as it contributes towards west i hope you're getting the concepts that is the whole thing so we are taking 2rs 139.16 the second solution now that was a critical thing to get the real solution is it okay so you can get r as equals to 139.16 divided by 2 so we'll just divide this by 2 so we get our answer as 69.58 degrees once you get the value of r you can always find what q is so let's calculate what q is so q is equal to so that is the angle r which we are looking for and q is 850 times square root 2 times sine of 69.58 correct so we have 69.58 let's find sine of this angle and then we'll multiply this by 850 times square root 2 and we get q as equals to 1126.54 correct so that becomes the value of q so that is our answer so we get our answer as r equals to 69.58 degrees and q equals to 1126.54 newtons right so we get both the answers great so i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to go through this solution also understand the logic of picking up the value almost 140 degrees dividing by 2 as our answer for r right i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thank you and all the best